Hello YouTube. Today I'm drilling some holes in some old discs. Uh, <clears throat> earlier I used some regular bits uh, for metal drilling. It seemed like these cheap discs were, were uh, soft enough to drill with them. Up until the second hole I realized my bit was dull. Um, <clears throat> I sharpened it several times and uh, eventually got all 12 of the holes drilled. But now I need to bring them up a size bigger. And I've tried something like that. It'll do about, this one actually does quite a bit more, but that's because it's only open to the bore up a little bit and you got all these cutting faces to go up. So, but it dulled these quite quickly as well. So, I'm gonna try something I was told long ago in hard, harder metal works. I don't know if this will work. It's a masonry bit. I uh, sharpened it up in my grinder and the tip is really hard compared to uh, regular drill bits. So let's give it a try. Well, needless to say, I'm impressed. That uh, cut it just fine, but let's see how many holes it'll do before I have to resharpen it. But so far, it's outperforming the other bolts. Uh, I'm just glad I had one laying around so I didn't have to go out and buy another. Looks like it's a little loose, though. I'm having to put a lot of pressure on it, though, because you see it's just giving these little shavings. Let's try this one with a little cut oil and see what happens. I mean, I doubt that's going to be a problem, but yeah, watch this. I'm sure once the oil hits there, it's going to smoke. Oh, well, I guess it's not too bad. All right, another hole. Actually, we'll get over to this one. Kind of waiting on these holes where I uh, doled up some bits because the way they're going to cut, I probably might uh, chip the carbides. So I'm just going to try to get the other holes out of the way. Something I like to mention is I did originally try to start holes with this bit. Oh yeah, it's getting quite high. And uh, I ran into a problem. It would just wander everywhere instead of start cutting. So uh, I don't know if switching to a smaller masonry bit would allow you to cut pot holes in the harder steel or what's the story with that. But uh, yeah, color me impressed. I'm surprised how well it's doing. That's three holes. Um, you can see I'm getting some blue chips toward the end there. So, just little rounded chips. But it's working, so. I'm just, I'm really happy with that. So, we'll just keep going. Put some oil around everything here. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm just gonna put some on this bit. Move so slow that should uh, slowly trickle into the hole I'm drilling.
I have two discs bolted together here. <clears throat> if you were wondering why there's bolts on there. Uh, I figured it'd just be easier to drill both at the same time. I've been putting oil on this just to make sure I'm not getting the tip too hot. It seems like the tip's staying cool, but the shank up here is what's getting hot. See, it's smoking up here. Now for the awkward holes. Let's see if I break a bit. That's awesome. I am very impressed. I'm going to get a glove because I know it's going to be hot and we're going to take a look at that tip. But it felt like it was cutting about the same the whole time. I wasn't noticing a major drop in any uh, cutting performance. So I am impressed that that worked. Yeah, an old fella told me about that. And I thought, well, you know, I got hard metal now. Let's give her a try. And it worked. I mean, those, those holes are fine. I'm happy with them. Especially for what this is going to be, that'll be perfect. I figure if it can handle concrete, a little heat like this probably isn't a big deal since a lot of this was a uh, bitch you use dry. I am impressed. Looks like it uh, took a little wear on that tip, but yeah, it's not razor sharp like I had it, but it's still sharp enough to cut, so it did wear it a little, but not bad at all. So I hope that helps someone out out there if you're drilling something that's just a little bit harder uh, and just dulling up your regular bits here, because these bits, you know, two holes and they were dull on it. And it didn't matter how I sharpened them. I put a flatter, a flatter curve on them and everything, and it, they, they just would go dull. They wouldn't chip. It would just wear them out. I wanted to show you the bit I originally used for the pilot holes. I'm not sure how well this will turn up on camera, but it wouldn't chip them. It would just wear them out. The corners would get rounded down after a while. And it wasn't getting hot. This bit never got hot. That's what was shocking to me. And it would uh, give me some stringers, but it was only giving me these type of stringers. Real fine stuff. So, but yeah, about every two, sometimes three holes, I was having to sharpen this bit. And all that would happen is this tip and the leading edge was getting rounded down. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed my video, please hit that like and subscribe.